It's a Wednesday afternoon in June, and inside the Carl J. Shapiro Science Center, Piali Sengupta's lab is buzzing. But all the work being done here wouldn't have been possible without some other work by the Brandeis National Committee. Several years ago, we went to a laboratory and heard a brilliant professor speaking to us about the research that she was doing. And she was working in a, in a lab that was built in the 1970s. She told us that she could do so much more research and work with the students more effectively if she had an up-to-date lab. We asked, what can we do? What they did was establish the Science for Life campaign, which raised $2 million to fund Sengupta's lab in neurodegenerative diseases, as well as an endowed library collection for medical science journals. Today is the dedication. This is probably for me one of the most exciting um, uh, projects that's come to fruition. And I just want to tell you how excited we all are at, um, at the university for this building and for what this means. And to thank all of you, really, all of you for everything you've done to make this study come true. Our constituency is growing older and neurodegenerative diseases affect all of us, either personally, uh, through our families, uh, ourselves, and, um, but we believe in helping the students and uh, researchers to be able to do the most effective work that they can possibly do. Another way that work is being facilitated is through the Shapiro Science Center's Joyce and Paul Krasnow Library. It was funded through a gift from former BNC President Joyce Krasnow and her husband Paul. I know that a lot of good things are going to be done in this building, so it's overwhelming. It's just fabulous. Here at Brandeis, it's, it's just most important for us to support what's important for the university and we knew this science center was being built and we just wanted to be part of it. Thanks to the BNC's help, scientific breakthroughs will undoubtedly be a part of it as well. Max Perlstein, Brandeis Now.